Good morning, welcome to another reading vlog. I thought I would check in with you before I potentially change my hair color. I'm gonna try putting some purple in it and see what that does because this green at the bottom is just not really doing it for me. But reading wise, the start of this week is dragon themed. So I am listening to the audiobook of The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I did start this at the end of my last vlog and I was a little bit confused about why we were following the boring character. However, things have just turned to shit for him, which I am enjoying a lot more. I don't know what that says about me, considering I also really like how everything always turns to shit for Fitz in the Realm of the Elderlings series. I don't know, it's just much more fun when things aren't going well. Maybe it just makes me feel better about my own life. Anyway, if you haven't heard about the Rage of Dragons, it's like this very interesting society. Some of the women have the abilities to call dragons and other magical abilities, and then some of the men also have this rage power that makes them super powerful. There's also these different classes, and they seem to almost be different species because they're different sizes. Anyway, I'm going to continue reading that. I did also last night start on Dragon's Kin by Anne McCaffrey and Todd McCaffrey. I read the first two chapters. It's kind of weird because normally when I talk about the Dragons of Pern series we talk about how there's this thread falling from the sky that destroys everything and there's these dragons that are able to burn the thread from the sky before it hurts anyone but actually this book is set in this mining operation during a time when there's no thread falling and there's no dragons anywhere around there but they are these what are they called watch wears where anyway there's these like dragon ish creatures that they use kind of as like security dogs and they're able to see really well in the night and they're kind of like dragons and I think this book is going to be focused a little bit on that so we'll see as we get further in. Oh wow my contact just fell out. Super cool. Um, Give you a heads up on the other two things I plan to read this week. So I want to try and get to Storm of Locusts as well, which is the second book in the Six World series by Rebecca Roanhorse. I read Trail of Lightning a while ago and I really loved it. It's kind of like a post-apocalyptic story set in a Native American reservation. There's gods and monsters and I really love it. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting to that. Also... I can only see in one eye. Um, I do have the audiobook for Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson, so hopefully I'll be able to get to that this week as well. Hello! So look, I've got some more purple hair. It kind of stuck in some bits more than others. Like even I put quite a lot up here and it didn't really stick to that bit. Who knows? But it's kind of purpley. It'll probably wash out really soon, but it's kind of fun. Uh, let's update you on things. So, two dragon books. The first one, The Rage of Dragons. I think I've only got about three hours left to go, and like, I am enjoying it. I really like the magic and the way that like demon kind of stuff is incorporated is really cool, but I still feel like the character we're following is all involved in all this battles and fighting and I don't really care about battles and fighting as well like he's kind of fighting for this good cause but he doesn't really believe in that cause he's just there for revenge in a lot of ways it reminds me of Red Rising which a lot of people really love and I don't really but I think people who like Red Rising might like this I don't mind it but I really wish we were following the love interest Zuri instead because it seems like her story is probably way more interesting or like maybe I prefer it to be a multiple perspective book because there are some things that our main character Tao is doing that are really interesting and I'm interested to see where that goes but I'm just a bit bored of all the fighting. However, they did just finish this big training tournament thing that they were doing so maybe any battles from here will actually be real battles because that's the thing as well. It's all this, this training and fighting but it's all like pretend kind of. I mean people still die but uh, it's not actually fighting their enemies. Anyway as I said I've got a few more hours to go on that and then I will let you know how I feel at the end. As well I'm about 30% into Dragon's Kin by Anne McCaffrey and Todd McCaffrey so I think this was already in the synopsis but there's a collapse in the mines and that bit made me cry. Uh, there's also this girl who's kind of like a secret no one's supposed to know about her and I was a bit confused for a while about why she's the secret and even now it doesn't really make sense but she's an interesting character. 
Again, like the story should be about her. Why do we have to keep following these boring guys when there's a woman with a really interesting story? I'm enjoying Dragon's Kim better than I thought I might because sometimes the Pern books I don't enjoy the writing that much but I think the last one I read was quite unfocused following quite a lot of different plot threads. This one is sticking with that one main character so even though he's a bit boring at least the story has focus. And I will say what Anne McCaffrey does well, and I guess Todd McCaffrey now too, that he's writing with her, is really understanding how society works and like putting the effort into understanding how this little mining town might work. So it's not my favourite either, but I am enjoying it. Um, what else? This morning I did go for a bit of a walk since we had another little bit of sunshine. I know all of you in the northern hemisphere are enjoying summer at the moment, but it's getting quite wintry here which is good because we had a bit of a drought and we need some water but I'm enjoying the little bits of sunshine we're getting. Uh, and when I went to the secondhand bookshop I found this one, Lament. So about a month ago I found the second book in the series at that same shop uh, and I was like well it's annoying to only have the second book but when else am I going to find it for only 50 cents because like I meant to not be spending money unless it's really important. However a 50 cent book every now and then I think is acceptable uh, and when it's the first book in a series where I already have the second one Magic. I suspect that whoever donated this one also donated the other one at the same time but they somehow got split up so I'm very impressed with myself for getting the pair back together. Anyway I'm gonna go and film it since my neighbour finally finished listening to their loud bass heavy music but I'll check in with you guys again when I've done some more reading. So it's been a couple of days, again we had a couple of days of sunshine so I went for a really long walk on Thursday, explored some places I haven't been before uh, and I also finished off the audiobook of The Rage of Dragons. I don't think my opinion changed very much with the ending although uh, we got a little bit more of the Queen in the end of that story and I'm really interested to continue this series now just because I really liked her character. I still really think that this should have been like a multiple perspective story because I really would have liked to get some more of the Queen's perspective and also more of the love interest perspective. I do think the main character Tao, his perspective is good. He does some really interesting things with this whole demon dimension that their magic system is based on. So that's cool but just so much of his story was fighting and battling which I'm sure a lot of people will really love it being so action oriented but for me I just I wanted more of the magic and more of the politics that was going on and we only really got like little snippets of that because Tao was too busy fighting. Anyway then on Friday Jace came around so I didn't do any reading and then on Saturday after he left I finished off Dragon's Kin. So I finished off all my dragon books now. Um, Dragon's Kin again! Ah, about 80% through it actually changed to the girl's perspective because it should have been her story all along. <laughs> She was definitely the hero of the story and I think that's dumb. However, I will say this is probably the best Pern book I've read in a while so it seems like introducing Todd McCaffrey to help with the writing has really helped with the series so I'm interested to see what will happen next when I continue the series. Also while I was out on my big long walk on Thursday I did start the audiobook of Warbreaker although I didn't get too far into it because I think finishing a really big audiobook and then jumping straight into the next one is a bad idea so I kind of stop that. But I did restart it again yesterday and I am enjoying it. I do think you can see that it is Brandon Sanderson's earlier writing. I'm still enjoying it especially there are characters who can change their hair colour or more their hair colour changes with their emotions. I wish I could change my hair colour with my thought. It would be so much easier than messing around with hair dye. It does also seem like the magic system is quite complicated. I'm still trying to work out exactly what's going on there. But I'm really interested in the God King and finding out more about him because it seems a bit mysterious. Also yesterday I did read the prologue of the burning stone because I had some kind of brain malfunction where I completely forgot that I should have been picking up Storm of Locust uh, and I really want to pick up Storm of Locust so I think I'll pick this up and start reading it tonight. 
But right now I'm supposed to be doing some other things, so I better go and do that. Hello, so I am at the mall because I had to send a package to my half-sister who lives down at the bottom of the country. It's actually having a baby this week, potentially, which is exciting because then I'll be some kind of auntie, half-auntie. Weird. Uh, but while I was here, I stopped at the library because I put a hold on a bunch of like short books for the book opposite Pocopolathon that's happening uh, next weekend. It's like a 48 hour readathon and the prompts aren't announced until then so I thought I would just get a bunch of short books as options. Uh, so firstly I got the Tea Dragon Festival, really super cute and also a super quick read. I also got The Girl from the Other Side Volume 2 which is much darker than the Tea Dragon Festival I'm sure but also sort of cute in a dark way. I really liked the first one so I'm excited to continue. Um, oh so then I got a workbook, that one's not exciting for you guys. Also the next one is not short but it's uh, The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin which I don't really have time to read right now but I am really excited to read it. So I guess we'll see how I manage that. But it's so pretty and like look at the back. I love those colors. Also so yesterday I did go around and visit my other sister and we watched the first couple of episodes of the new Babysitter's Club TV show that's on Netflix and in a lot of ways I think they've done a really good job. It looks really lovely like the set design is amazing. Claudia's room I wish it was my room so badly but I will also say like it just doesn't flow naturally like I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with the script that man is driving very badly because he's talking on his cell phone at the same time. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with the script, but the way that the dialogue is being delivered is just very stilted. It was interesting to see, though, that Alicia Silverstone is the mother, Christie's mother. Uh, that's weird. Also, last night I did start A Storm of Locusts. I didn't get very far uh, up to page 20 and then I fell asleep. But I have to say, like... Soon as I got back into it, it reminded me again of Kate Daniels. Like the first line is, four men with guns stand in my yard. That is a Kate Daniels line, if I've ever heard it. And also, I have realized in this one, she's going to get this young girl that she's going to have to look after. Kate Daniels in the second or third book also gets a young girl that she kind of ends up semi-adopting. So, so many parallels. But I'm not mad about it because I love Kate Daniels so much and... Even though I only got through 20 pages, I would have kept reading. I just really needed sleep. <sighs> sleep, always getting in the way of reading. So, I washed my hair and most of the purple came out. Still quite a bit over there, but mostly it's gone. I'm not that upset. I kind of, at least I got rid of all the, the gold that I had after I bleached my hair. Oh, I don't even have the book that I was going to update you about. Do I want to go get it? I'm, I'll go get it. So. I have been reading Storm of Locusts. I read some more last night and then I read a bit today. I'm up to page 117. <sighs> some horrible things happen in this book already and I'm pretty sure it's going to get more and more horrible but I love it. Also they have this cat god following along with them. I will say if you don't like bugs probably not the book for you because the big bad in this book is the white locust and there are a bunch of locusts at some point. A storm of locusts? I mean I guess the title gives it away. But you always think these things are going to be metaphors. Not a metaphor. But I am just really loving this so I kind of want to just finish this today but it'll probably be tomorrow because life. As well I am about halfway through Warbreaker. Yes 54% and I'm really enjoying that as well. I think my favorite character is what is his name? Light? Oh, you definitely remember names less well when you listen to audiobooks but he is a god uh, and he doesn't really like being a god or he doesn't really think of himself as a god. He's really interesting anyway and I really like him. But all the characters are really interesting really and I really just can't wait to see how all their plot lines are going to come together. I'm pretty sure in classic Brandon Sanderson fashion it's going to be a disaster so I can't wait. <sighs> I am annoyed because it was supposed to be sunny today. It's been rainy the last few days but today it was meant to clear up and it has not and I was going to go out and do like some yard work while I finished listening to Warbreaker but now everything's still all wet. 
and it's really cold which I'm not happy about however I did finish off Storm of Locusts and I really enjoyed it I don't know if it will be for everyone like our main character Maggie is quite violent and a bit of a bitch and like I'm not sure it's like super smart literature but I just I really enjoy it especially all the stuff that's happening with the different gods is really interesting and also Maggie just building relationships with people and her and her friends discovering their powers super cool I love it it's a bit dark but uh, I do really enjoy it I will say uh, I noticed a few editing errors through here so there was one bit where there was a random quotation mark lost all by itself for no reason another part where plane was spelt plan and a few other things like that which like I'm usually really bad at noticing those things so if I noticed them I think there was probably quite a few and I'm not really sure uh, why they missed those but still it didn't take away from my enjoyment at all I really love this and I feel like I keep picturing it in my head as a TV show or a movie I think it would be amazing so hopefully we'll get that one day I think there's four books planned in the series so far uh, hopefully there will be more than that because I think that this world has a lot of potential for lots of stories. Anyway, I love that and I am going to try and finish off Warbreaker today. I think I've got about six hours left of it and I'm really enjoying it. I love the way that Brandon Sanderson sets things up so that the different characters' perspectives that you're following almost believe like opposite things and you're not really sure which one of them is right but you know that one of them is going to be wrong so it's kind of waiting for things to all come together and work out what's really happening. I really love the perspectives of the gods and like the complexity of the magic system is actually pretty cool once you get into it. So I'm going to go and finish listening to that and work out what I can do around the house while I listen to that since I can't go outside. I might just have to play Animal Crossing. Okay, so I just finished Warbreaker and I really enjoyed it. I'm really sad now because there is meant to be at some point a sequel to Warbreaker called Nightblood and Nightblood is a sword in Warbreaker and one thing Brandon Sanderson does really well is write inanimate objects which is a weird skill to have but Brandon Sanderson has it and I just love Nightblood so much. I also I liked the way that everything came together in the end. I will say I don't like it's not as mind-blowing as say the Mistborn novels or even as much as Elantris I don't think but it still all comes together really well and there is some really cool stuff that he does with the magic and the way that he looks at godhood and being a god was pretty cool as well. I don't know, it's just a very Brandon Sanderson kind of novel. So if you like Brandon Sanderson, you'll probably like this. Anyway, since I have now finished that, and also it's Thursday in the second week of this vlog, so I finished four books this week and a half. I think we should finish this vlog here. I think it was a pretty good week and a half of reading. I really liked Warbreaker. What else did I read? Oh, I love Storm of Locusts. Uh, the Rage of Dragons was pretty good and Dragon's Kin was better than I expected it to be, so pretty good. Do let me know if you have read any of those books because I would love to talk with you more about them down in the comments. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are doing well and I will see you next time.